All right, let's take a look here at GitHub Enterprises deployment options because they have two kind that you can have. Uh, we have GitHub Enterprise Cloud. This is when you want to have a hosted version of the Enterprise Edition on github.com. And then you have GitHub Enterprise Server. This is a uh, self-hosted one. So let's take a look at uh, what we have for our deployment options in terms of feature set. On the GitHub Enterprise for both cloud and server, they're gonna share this same functionality. For, so first of all, they're gonna have everything that organization teams has, but they're gonna get GitHub Enterprise support. They're gonna get additional security compliance deployment controls, authentication with SAML uh, single sign-on, um, and accessing provisions uh, provisioning with SAML and SCIM. They make a large emphasis on this in the exam. In fact, I totally thought it didn't matter. And then I got a bunch of questions on this on my exam and I was like, really? But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to make a couple slides on that in our enterprise section because they really want you to know that that is an offering for enterprise. Um, deployment protection rules with GitHub Actions for private or internal repos. And that again is a feature specific to enterprises. So make note of that as well. We have GitHub Connect. Actually, I don't even know what that is. Um, I'll have to, I guess, make a slide on that as well. Option to purchase the GitHub Advanced Security. So that is a um, some kind of additional feature. For specific features, we have 50,000 GitHub Action Minutes per month, 50 gigabytes of GitHub Packages storage, a service level agreement of 99.9% .9 monthly uptime, option to centrally manage policies and billing for multiple github.com orgs with an enterprise account. This was a question on my exam as well, and I was not prepared for it. Um, they never asked for like minutes. I think this kind of information, I never saw that there. So you don't have to really worry about that. We have options to provision and manage the user accounts for your developer by using the uh, EMUs. Um, I'm glad we never had any questions on those, but uh, EMUs seemed like they're really involved, but I imagine that would be in that GitHub administrator um, or administration or administrator certification, but there you go.